hello guys good morning and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are seeing this face for the very first time you are absolutely welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming to watch your baby girl in today's video i'll be showing you how i make my nigerian puff puff it's a very simple recipe but there's one secret ingredient i'll be using that will take your puff puff recipe from zero to 100 so if that's the video you want to watch please stay tuned and we'll see the very end don't forget to like share subscribe to this channel thank you so much and let's get going so yeah i'm measuring my yeast i used one tablespoon of yeast with one tablespoon of sugar to activate my yeast just to check if my yeast is effective so this is my one cup of warm water i pour that into it and I stir very well then I cover it and put it away for it to rise keep it in a warm place so at the end this is what you would get this shows that our yeast is active so we we'll proceed to our recipe this is 300 gram of flour my sugar and my milk so I'm pouring that into it then I added my yeast mixture and my salt yeast mixture and this is my secret ingredient this supreme milk if you try this you will take your pop from level zero to hundred everybody would want to have a taste of it the aroma alone is inviting so i added one tablespoon of so and i poured a little bit more water don't pour a lot of water at a time just for you to have control of the liquid you are pouring into so in all i used three cups of water just pouring it gradually and yeah i want i'm mixing it yeah you have to mix it very well yeah you mix it very well for the yeast to to do its work sure you get so and i do not want a runny butter so i made it thick a little bit thick now this butter shouldn't be too runny but at the same time it shouldn't be too thick if it is too thick, you end up with a very strong pop puff at the end of the day. And if it is too runny, you would not be able to handle it while frying. So just maintain this consistency and you are good to go. So you keep on kneading it very well. Beat it very well. Mix it so well. You can use your stand mixer for this aspect. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just using my hand. And it's my student's first practical. So hence I am documenting this aspect for her so you just mix it very well i allowed her mix it very well i was telling her yeah that you have to mix it very very well so she, i was just encouraging her to mix it well so yeah i'm good with the mixture so i just allow her mix a little bit more then we we'll cover it then put it away for it to rise for like 45 minutes so this is the mixture after mixing you can see how smooth how creamy how yummy it looks so this after this we just cover it and put it in a warm place for 45 to one, one hour so yeah we're about frying and yeah i'm just showing her how to do it so this is me picking my butter and squeezing it out from my thumb and my index finger if i'm right i just squeeze take it bit by bit and i squeeze it out little portion depending on how big you want it to be so that's just what i'm doing here just showing her how to to squeeze it out from the your thumb and your index finger those are the two fingers that are doing the job just like so this is how comfortable i can do it you can see that it just popped up because it was well mixed and the active was very very active the yeast was very active rather so this is just it this is me here this is the dough i have in my hand you can see so i just smoothen it a little bit then i squeeze it out like so Ooh, yummy you can see how good it's looking already so at this point that's risen that's just floats to the top of the oil this is how your puff puff should look it should come out from the good round shape and float on top of your oil you get what i mean so that's just that for that and fry till your golden brown or desired brownness is achieved then you take off it put on 
on um, a paper towel and allow it to soak up, absorb the, the excess oil. So this is it here, golden brown, very yummy, looking so good and radiant. And that's for that. Please consider subscribing if you have watched until this point. Share this video and yeah, this is where my student is doing her own. So I just decided to view this aspect. So she's doing this part by herself and she tried. This is her very first time doing this and she really killed it. Yes, I'm super proud of her and she's a good student. You get what I mean? Yeah, so at the end, it came out. I'm showing her that there are ex still space where she can put her puff dough or puff butter as you may call it. So this is the end of her. Of course, you can see how beautiful, how round, how yummy, how lush, and how cheap. Very good. You can have this for food, you can have this bottle of mineral, anything you want to give it for. 